Oh boy, boy, boy. Oh, it's too early for this. Okay, guys, hold on. Let me just get you brighter. Okay, this is just a quick one because um, uh, Corinne actually did a, a, a YouTube demo of... I don't think she did the Play-Doh, but she showed the Play-Doh. That would be this one where it's a bubble bath Play-Doh. This is my old labels. But this is a bubble bath Play-Doh that you would hold underwater to make bubbles. Um, sensory play, you can play with it in the tub while it's wet. It keeps its shape. This is a used piece. It's a little kind of gooey, but I don't put the used piece back with the unused. Anyways, she was asking about stuff that was more like Luscious Fun. That would be this piece. This is what you would use. It's a bubble bath Play-Doh, but this one you can actually wash with. So I just wanted to show you guys that. I have to find a different name for it. I still might call it tub time, but maybe it'll be a Play-Doh bubble bath slash wash or something. I'm not sure. But anyways, same thing. You hold it underwater like this for um, bubbles. The only difference, ouch, that's hot. The only difference about this, okay, this is how I'll show you. You can wash with this one. Let's see if you can get the lather going. It's hard one-handed, but this one is more of the one you get to wash with, okay? So this is that one. There you go. Now you got, you can see the lather. And if I put it here for just one sec. Oops, I splashed it everywhere. This is the one you can wash with. The only difference is this one, um, it doesn't last in the tub for more than one use. So you would use it as a bubble bath and wash with it, but you're not going to really have much of a piece left as you would with the Play-Doh bubble bath. This stuff starts to kind of disintegrate, not badly, but it does start to disintegrate while you're using it because it's more of a soap than a bubble bath, so that's the difference, but you get great bubbles from it, plus you can wash. So this one I make custom order. Um, you ask me, you know, what scent you want, whatever, what color, and I'll do it. But just, just so you know, I better turn the water off. Um, wow, that's a lot of bubbles. I can't get it off my hands. Just so you know, with that one that you wash with, wow, that is a lot of bubbles. That was more than I remember. Um, just so you know with this one, the pieces don't last. Like you would take the chunk off to use for the bubble bath and to wash with, but you're not really going to have a lot left um, because as you're playing with it, like you would use it as a Play-Doh too or, a, a, you know, a wash, it disintegrates a lot faster than the bubble bath Play-Doh that's just a bubble bath Play-Doh. But I wanted to show you something about that too. Like I said, you can use this more than once. When you get to like the second time, like this one's been used probably three times. Now it's going to start disintegrating. That's what I wanted to tell you. So this is when I would just keep holding it underneath the water. See, it's starting to disintegrate. I would just keep holding this little puppy. Let's let some water out. I would just keep holding this puppy under the water until it's gone. It will dissolve like a bubble bar. It just takes a lot, a lot longer than a bubble bar. So, but it still makes great bubbles. But see what I mean? After you've used it a couple times. Wow, is that hot? After you've used it a couple times, there you go. It starts to go. So you would just, when it got to that, I would just keep going like so. See? Smaller, smaller, smaller. Keep going. And you'll end up with like nothing. But you will have an awesome bubble bath. And yes, this one tints the... Um, the wash one does not tint because I don't think you guys would appreciate washing yourselves or your kids and turning them blue. Okay, the bubble bath Play-Doh one does tint the water because it's a bubble bath and it's a play with stuff. But the washing one does not usually tint the water. You might get a slight tint, but it's not major, okay? So I just wanted to show you guys that. That's the difference between the two. I have this one, a couple of these already made. The washing one I make to order. I also make a soap dough that is just specific for playing with and washing with. It's not a bubble bath, okay? So I have three different doughs. So I know it's confusing, but you'll just have to ask me. I really need to think of some different names for them. But just if there's a specific one you guys are interested in, just let me know and uh, 
I can whip it up. Like I said, I have two of these ones left. There are two blue, like what Corinne has. Um, the pink one's mine. I also have a bit of a yellow one upstairs. That's mine. But like I said, I, I two blue left of the Play-Doh bubble bath. The Play-Doh bubble bath you wash with, I make to order. Same with the soap dough, okay? Just wanted to share that with you guys, all right? And yeah, this is the this is the sink when you're done your bubble bar or your play-doh. So you just I just I mean it takes a while to get rid of the bubbles. They keep wanting to come back. So um yeah, maybe wait till the bubbles die down before you try to rinse it because you'll just have a a tub full of bubbles. But anyways, just want to share that with you guys to maybe help clear up some stuff, all right? Thanks for watching. And oh, by the way, no laughing. Ha ah, no, you can laugh all you want at the other videos. That was a little glimpse into my real life. Talk to you later, guys.